Tracy from Tracy Rose TV and I've just finished my beautiful walk today. I'll just show you where I've been. Uh, down at Manly and Queenscliff Beach. It's a bit of a stunning day. Anyway, um, I normally do these videos sort of at home but I'm kind of having a crazy day today and I've got to go and pick up the kids and you know we want to go and spend the afternoon in this amazing day. So I thought I'd quickly do this video in the car. Um, I've asked a question during the week about what are your biggest fears about natural birth and you know it, it's I mean it's not surprising because I had many of the same fears myself before I even attempted you know natural birth and one of the things that constantly comes up is people's fear of tearing and you know having that that pain or that associated you know really excruciating pain with the baby's heads coming out and you know tearing or having an episiotomy or something like that so I kind of wanted to give you two methods that you could do yourself in your own births um, that could alleviate the need for an episiotomy hopefully or even tearing at all and and most instances a lot of people don't even feel it if they do have a small tear or something like that um, a lot of the time that you know when uh, the baby's head's coming out everything becomes sort of I guess quite numb because it's being stretched so far however I know that sounds sort of far-fetched or uh, and and there are some other things that you can do so here's uh, tip number one tip number one is you could have a water birth and I had a water birth for my first baby Miss Honey Rose and that was seriously amazing it's really really beautiful it's so relaxing the reason um, that it helps so much is obviously because it first of all relaxes you and so when you're relaxed you actually have a lot more oxygenated blood pumping around to the muscles and the tissues that you need the most meaning that they can actually stretch further um, it doesn't hurt as much you actually can be can stay quite comfortable when you're super stretchy you become kind of like super stretchy girl and um, you know imagine if you're being in the water for so long like you know how your skin goes all wrinkly like um, we call it grandma hands you know when you get out of the bath you're like ah oh, look at my hands um, so can you, if you can imagine being in the bath for a little while you know you kind of become stretchy and most people that have a water birth find that they you know minimize um, their chance of tearing a lot of people uh, you know are pretty much intact they don't have tearing and things like that so I had obviously planned that again for my second birth but it wasn't really um, it didn't really happen for my second birth I just it, how the situation went I ended up not wanting to get in the water and so it felt very different um, but there was also another thing that I did and it was called um, birthing uh, breathing my baby down instead of in that pushing phase you know when you're like the heads about to come out and everyone sort of says okay now it's time to push well instead of doing pushing I do what we call um, breathing the baby down or you could call it J breathing because it sort of comes out the birth canal in sort of a J um, shape <laughs> so instead of um, you might have the urge to push so what I'm saying is like if you feel like you want to push you know go ahead and push however if you resist that urge and you know how to do this breathing down and this J breathing what you're allowing your body to do is is actually doing is allowing your body to do what comes naturally and that is to allow all that oxygenated blood to make everything super super stretchy and it enables for your body to do this reflex so when the baby's head hits a certain point in your body when it gets down so far there's a reflex called the Ferguson's reflex which means that your body actually kind of expels and pushes the baby out itself meaning that you can stay super super relaxed and you don't have to do any pushing because when you're doing like that pushing it's like that forced pushing you know when you go to the toilet and you push and it can kind of like that can hurt but if you sat there and read the newspaper like most guys do <laughs> they it's not painful to push a poo out it's kind of the same with the baby and um, you're enabling your body to stay super relaxed and supple and super stretchy meaning you are much less likely to tear at all or actually have much discomfort at all so 
read up about that. Read up about birth breathing or J breathing and find a teacher who can teach you those techniques because they're really super, super important. I wish everyone knew those. And like I said, if you feel like you want to push, push the baby out. It's fine. You do what you feel is comfortable on the day. Um, however, we have found that these techniques using water, um, staying relaxed, breathing the baby out instead of pushing the baby out, uh, has a much higher chance of you staying intact and you know not tearing and not needing any stitches and not being very uncomfortable after you've had your baby. So there's a couple of tips. I hope it I hope it's helped. I'm going to go and enjoy some more sunshine of this gorgeous gorgeous day. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.